places I had knee pain, I had pain going down my legs, my foot weak got weak, I couldn't hardly walk. Rosalind Johnson says she started feeling that way 10 years ago. She went to the doctor and says she was told she had arthritis or nerve damage. When they told me it was arthritis, I knew that it was more than just arthritis. And I wasn't satisfied with it. So I switched doctors first and came along and finally lucked up on a doctor that really looked further into the situation. That's when she saw Mercy Medical Center's Dr. Bonnie Garrick, who did further testing and diagnosed her with MS, a disease of the central nervous system affecting the brain and spinal cord. Dr. Garrick says it's a disease that's hard to pin down. I think the main reason it's difficult to diagnose is that many of the symptoms that patients with MS experience are symptoms that individuals who don't have the condition experience. So for example, fatigue is a common symptom of MS, but who doesn't experience fatigue? Dr. Garrick says doctors need to go over a patient's clinical history, give a thorough exam, and then decide if additional tests are needed. Usually the MRIs are confirmatory, so the brain and the spinal MRIs for the most part confirm the diagnosis, although this is not always the case. Rosalind says don't let doctors write you off and listen to your body. Although there is no cure for MS, she at least now has the proper medication to treat her disease. I feel great and relieved that I do know the answer and know what's really going on with me.